And the man accused of murdering his girlfriend at an apartment complex in El Centro four months ago now has a new court date. Karina Bizarte has the new details on the case. The courtroom was divided and some were wearing the victim's name on their shirt while the suspect, along with his family, got to hear the new date for his preliminary hearing. Many were shocked as the judge announced the new court date for 19-year-old Anthony Hernandez. Hernandez appeared in court for his preliminary hearing, but the hearing was moved. However, the hearing was not conducted. We had to ask for a continuance because of some witnesses' unavailability, and we couldn't move forward because they were critical witnesses for the people's case. Hernandez is accused of killing 18-year-old Emily Padilla and is facing a total of four felony counts, including murder and possession of an assault weapon. Hernandez is currently out of jail on bail, and the judge said Hernandez has been compliant with the restrictions that was set for him. He was placed on some conditions of his release after he posted bail. And some of those conditions is having a curfew, he has an ankle monitor, um, he cannot be on social media. He has to stay away from all the known family members and friends of the victim, Emily Padilla. And, you know, he has to maintain employment or schooling. However, Padilla's family says they are in disbelief. The fact that I have to wait a little longer just to figure out if he's going to get arrested is upsetting. And the fact that he's out, it hurts because it just doesn't seem fair that he gets to walk well, my sister, I had to bury her. So it is heartbreaking and it's frustrating and it makes me upset. And I'm trying to be calm about it, but it's very hard. The victim's sister says it's getting hard not seeing her sister around. Uh, the song even reminds me um, even Heaven by Beyonce, Live On, um, Medicine. Um, just being in my car sometimes is hard because when we would listen to songs together, we always sing together. Hernandez's attorney says she's willing to speak to us, but not at this time. Hernandez will remain out of jail, and the new date for the preliminary hearing will be on February 1st of next year. Reporting from Imperial County, I'm Karina Azarte.